Yeah, so if you're anything like me, then you too should hate long export times in Premiere Pro. If only there was an easy workflow to speed up the render process. Hmm. Well, luckily for you, there is, and it's called Smart Rendering. So let's get straight into it. With your project open, select your sequence and come up to the sequence settings. My current editing mode doesn't support smart rendering, so we're going to want to switch this to custom. Now come down to the video preview section. For preview file format, select QuickTime, and for the codec, you can select whichever best suits your project. I'm going with Apple ProRes 422 on this one. Now make sure your preview's width and height matches your frame size. Any old preview files you had will now be deleted, and you should notice your whole timeline turn either yellow or red, or a combination of both, depending on your machine and how many effects you have applied to your clips. This means none of your clips are pre-rendered, so if you had to export your video now, you would not be able to utilize smart rendering. In order to get the smart previews with our updated sequence settings, we're going to select Sequence and Render Into Out. It's going to take some time, but you can let this run while you grab a coffee or take a lunch break. And if you need to keep working when you get back, you can simply cancel the process and the already rendered clips will stay rendered. This is so great because it means if you export your project and you decide to make some changes to it after the fact, instead of having to go back in and re-render the entire thing from scratch, all the previews you previously rendered out are still present. So you'll only have to re-render any clips you've made changes to. Anyways, our render process has finally finished, so you'll notice our timeline should have turned green. This means all our previews are rendered and we are ready to export our project. In the export window, all we need to do is match the sequence settings and select use previews. Hit export and you should notice a massive increase in export times. And just for reference, this project took 2 minutes and 20 seconds to export with smart rendering. Without smart rendering, it rendered for just under 30 minutes, reaching only 25% completion before failing due to the infamous error compiling movie error. Surprise, motherfucker! So without smart rendering, I actually had no foreseeable way to export this project in its current state. But thanks to whoever invented this, it was all okay in the end. And there you have it. Smart rendering saves you from errors, slow export times, and it just makes re-exporting projects an absolute breeze. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and yeah, until the next one, happy editing.